Hello, welcome to the Comptorx module. Today we'll be discussing the rule of sum. It's a basic counting principle which enumerates the number of possibilities in performing a simple action. So let's say we have a list of numbers from 1 through 10 and a list of fruits, an apple, a banana, and an orange. How many ways can we choose exactly one of these objects? It can be either a number or a fruit, but it can't be both. We also can't choose more than one number or more than one fruit. How many ways can we choose exactly one object? That is what the rule of sum explains. So take a simple example. Let's say we have five red letters and three green letters. How many ways can we choose exactly one of these letters? Now they don't have to be in alphabetic order like I have here. They can be Q, W, E, R, T, and A, S, D. They can be anything really. But we have to choose exactly one of the letters. So color doesn't matter really. We can copy down the two groups with that color and choose the letter from either the bottom two groups. How many ways can we choose a letter from the bottom groups? That's equal to the number of letters in the bottom groups. The number of letters in the bottom groups is equal to the number of letters in the red group plus the number of letters in the green group. Since we have five red letters and three green letters, we have eight letters in total. Thus, there are eight ways to choose a letter from either of the top two groups. That is the idea behind the rule of sum. Now let's take another example. Let's say we have the two groups from before and a third group now, three blue numbers. How many ways can we choose an object from any of the three lists now? The idea is the same as before. We copy down the three groups without color. Then we count the number of objects in the bottom list. That's equal to the sum of the number of objects in the top three groups. Since we have three blue numbers, five red letters, and three green letters, then we have 11 objects in total. Since there are 11 objects in total, that means there are 11 ways to choose an object from any of the three lists that we have. That, again, is the rule of sum. In general, if we have A objects in one group and B objects in another group, that means there are A plus B ways of choosing an object from either of the two groups. That is the idea behind the rule of sum.